Elon Musk finally overcame the hurdle, and Neuralink was allowed to experiment with brain interfaces on humans. The GPT chat, which brought animal holograms to life for the first time, has piqued the interest of Chinese residents, who are actively scanning their palms. Science AI technology allows to communicate with dead people. The Japanese have demonstrated robots to work on the moon and Mars, and a black hole of 800 suns has been discovered that could be in close proximity to Earth. All of this and more is happening right now. Neuralink, as many people probably know, is one of Elon Musk's companies. Against the background of other companies that retain startup status, in this case, Neuralink had to undergo a key stage of its development, clinical trials of implantable sensors in the cranial cavity in humans. After many unsuccessful attempts, Neuralink finally received approval from US regulators to conduct human clinical trials. Trials have already been conducted on pigs and monkeys, and the implants, installed in the cranium in close proximity to the cerebral cortex, should theoretically allow paralyzed patients to control the computer cursor with their thoughts, paving the way for the creation of specialized bionic prostheses and restoration of communication in people who have lost control of their speech and motor functions. The Neuralink sensor installation process involves implanting thin electrodes in an area of the patient's cerebral cortex. Despite its promising prospects, Neuralink has so far had a complicated history of interaction with regulatory agencies. Activist complaints about allegedly inhumane treatment of test animals and violations of biological waste transport regulations have been adding up. In March, the FDA rejected Neuralink's application for human clinical trials, citing the need to address dozens of complaints. Late last year, Elon Musk even expressed his willingness to install a Neuralink implant, thus emphasizing the promise and safety of this development. A startup from Israel introduced Go Chess, a smart table chess for beginners and professionals. This gadget can connect to a smartphone and has many other functions. The first feature of Go Chess is the interactive glowing board. Every time a player makes a move, the board lights up the squares where he can put a piece. The board can give hints, for example by coloring the squares red to indicate that such a move is guaranteed to eat your piece, or purple to indicate the best move, and green to indicate the best move. The lights can be turned off if you wish. The second feature of Go Chess is the ability to play remotely with friends. To do this, you need to connect the board to your smartphone via Bluetooth and synchronize it with your account at liches or chess.com. Your opponent will be able to join the party, and you will play with physical pieces, and your opponent with digital pieces on the screen. At the same time, your opponent's pieces will actually move on your board thanks to the magnet system provided under the board. The device will track and remember the history of each game and keep a score sheet. Go Chess is a project on Kickstarter. Buyers can pre-order it now for $259. Sales will start in May 2024 in the US and Europe. People in China began to scan their palms en masse. Large Chinese technology company Tencent, the owner of the social network WeChat, began to implement a new system of identity recognition. Earlier, the citizens of China were determined by their faces, and now they will be identified also by their palms. It is enough for user to authorize in WeChat and add data about his palms with the help of special scanner. Such devices have already been placed in some cities of China, and it is expected that soon they will be installed almost all over the country. The mechanism reads the location of veins, the pattern on the fingers, the size of the fingers and hands, as well as the patterns on the palm of each person's hand. These details are unique, so the likelihood of a false reading is virtually nil. This is needed to install turnstiles from Tencent, which will be located everywhere, from public transportation stops to schools and hospitals. Palm scanners will be used to pay fares and enter educational institutions, concert halls, offices, and other establishments. The system has already been rolled out and is in its initial stages. Chinese residents now have to scan their palms to access the places they visit. More than 900 million people in China use Tencent's pay payment system, which works in almost every store in the country. Contactless palm payment could be a great innovation. Palm scanning is better than facial recognition in every way. First, people don't tend to post pictures of their palms on social media. Hence, there will be fewer data leaks. Second, people do facial surgery more often than palms, so the new system will run smoothly, according to the company itself. Looking Glass, a startup known for its achievements in creating 3D displays, 
has integrated ChatGPT into its holograms. The company creates 32-inch and 65-inch systems that display holographic images. If you're not a corporate customer, you can buy a desktop solution from them for $399. However, the founders of this startup decided that just looking at 3D images was boring. They set out to study neural networks, particularly ChatGPT. The result of their work was Lightforms. These are talking holograms whose brain is a popular neural network. The first videos with examples of bot holograms integration have already appeared on the internet. Mostly, they experimented with home holograms. Now, however, they have decided to start producing 3D characters on an industrial scale. Looking Glass is going to sell this technology to big companies. In their opinion, it would be great to have a talking 3D mascot of this or that brand. The Lightforms developers will talk more about the combination of the two technologies and their future at the AWEI conference in early July. BMW has announced new cars as part of its 2023 summer lineup. These are the i4 xDrive 40, an all-wheel drive variant of the i4, the single-engine i7 eDrive 50, and the 750 eXDrive hybrid. The i4 xDrive 40, released in 2024, is an all-wheel drive variant of the 396 horsepower Grand Coupe. This all-electric car is equipped with two engines that provide a range of up to 307 miles with standard 18-inch tires. The i4 xDrive 40 starts at $61,600. BMW plans to start shipping in the US in the third quarter of 2023. The rear drive i70 Drive 50 has a single Gen 5 engine with 49 horsepower. Closer to market this fall, BMW will announce details about the models and their performance. What is already known, however, is that the model will start at $157,000, plus shipping charges. Finally, the 750E X-Drive combines a six-cylinder internal combustion engine with 308 horsepower and an electric motor with 194 horsepower. The 750E X-Drive will cost from $107,000. BMW has also updated its infotainment operating system. BMW's 8.5 operating system gives the main screen clearly organized functions on a curved display. It has got rid of submenus and uses the zero level principle, where all important controls and information are stored on one level using vertically arranged widgets on the driver's side. In addition, the system includes symbols for quick access to the climate control menu, the app library, navigation and CarPlay Android Auto. Science AI, a technology developed by the studio, is being discussed online. It allows a person to communicate with deceased loved ones. Analyzing the ways and habits of the deceased in messenger communication, the technology works on the basis of OpenAI API, the same as ChatGPT. It is a language model. According to the developers, the main task of Science AI is to allow those who have not had time to say something to the deceased to negotiate. So far, however, this is the only focus of the presented technology. No matter how accurately the neural network analyzes your dialogue with the deceased, it will not be able to reproduce it. Soon you will begin to notice these errors. The user uploads information about the deceased person, including their job, family, date, and cause of death, as well as examples of email or chatting. A journalist who tried the technology said that the first couple of messages did look very similar to his deceased relative's style. Later, however, when the neural network began to repeat itself, he got the feeling that he was communicating with himself. In a new study, scientists have announced the discovery of the strongest evidence to date for the existence of enigmatic black holes of intermediate mass. Analyzing data collected by the Hubble and Gaia telescopes in the globular star cluster M4, located 6,000 light-years from Earth, they calculated the mass of the central object around which this group of stars rotates. It turned out that the mass of this object is equal to 800 solar masses, which corresponds to the mass of a black hole of intermediate mass, located relatively close to the Earth. Of course, without a direct study of the object, it is impossible to definitively confirm whether it is indeed a black hole and what its mass is. However, if it is not a black hole, it is about 40 black holes of stellar mass, compressed in space with a diameter of only one-tenth of a light year. Otherwise, the observed effect cannot be explained. The Japanese company Gitai showed prototypes of new robots that will be used to perform work on the Moon and Mars. 
Among the tasks the robots will perform, the company highlights maintenance of equipment, collection of materials, and inspection of the territory. Gitai has already developed a robotic arm and a rover on Mars. The company has attracted the interest of quite a few investors who have invested in it. The Japanese will use the proceeds to increase personnel in the United States, increase production capacity, and conduct experiments and research in the development of their technology. Gitai has already begun building a model of the lunar environment and a vacuum chamber for testing its technology. At the moment, the company is preparing for the second demonstration of its technology outside the Mars rover station. Company executives plan to send it into space as early as the 26th year. For a startup that is only seven years old, this is a great success. Thank you.